shoulder external rotation, the patient is seated uh, on the edge of the mat or on a chair. Um, the arm is abducted to 90 degrees, the elbow is flexed to 90 degrees, and the forearm is in neutral rotation. The axis, um, the goniometer goes kind of on the, the posterior ulnar forearm. The axis of the goniometer is simply lined up with the olecranon process. The stationary arm is simply held horizontal, and the moving arm is in line with the ulnar styloid. All right, so this is the starting position. All right, and then I'm going to have you bring your hand back as far as it'll go. All right. And then the ending position, still line up the axis with the olecranon process. The stationary arm is still horizontal. And the moving arm still line up with the um, ulnar styloid. Kind of eyeball that um, stationary arm to make sure it is horizontal yet. And in this case, we have about 0 to 75 degrees of external rotation. Substitutions would include trunk extension to try to look like you have more external rotation than you actually have. 